Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adult. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Arts feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. It's Friday. We come to the end of the first full week of August. Uh, and, and Vera Massey is with us, University of Missouri Extension. Good to have you here, Good Vera. Good to be here. You look so happy. In fact, that's our topic today. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you look happy and our topic today is happiness. How does that fit in with University Extension? Well, University of Missouri Extension has a great program called Taking Care of You, Body, Mind, Spirit. And it's using some of the latest research on positive psychology, creating positive emotion to lead a healthier life so we have less stress. So we're trying to look at some of the most recent research. And this is really, this is a, a new part of university extension, I kind of think so, but it's yeah. pretty exciting. Yeah, but you know, years ago, you wouldn't think of extension dealing with the mind, the body, and the spirit. Right, but you know, all of those come into creating a healthier life, right. which can create healthier communities when we have healthier people. Exactly. And that's what we've been about through our whole um, existence of extension is improving people's lives. Mm -hmm. So, so hey, this fits in this fits, fits in, in perfectly. perfectly. Yeah. So okay. what's exciting is is as we get new research, we add that to the program. It's actually an eight week program and we'll you know if people are interested they can let me know, uh, okay. add you to the list. But I thought I'd share some of the concepts, some new ones. We've talked about happiness and the importance of cultivating it. And it is something you really have to cultivate. Um, because happiness, some people are more prone to be uh, on a higher happiness level than others. Mm -hmm. But the good news is, is that everybody can do things that can help increase their happiness, which has a direct connection to their health and well-being. Mm -hmm. And in the past, I think we talked about things like being more grateful, uh, adding more joy to our lives, uh, practicing acts of kindness. These are all things that maybe some people grew up with being told were important, but not everybody has. Mm -hmm. And they definitely have an effect on your health and well-being. Oh, yes, they do. And you know, it is so easy to go in the other direction. It is so easy to go in the other. And, and, I, find, and I like to think of myself as a happy person. Sure you are. I, I, sure I you like are. to think of myself as a happy person. 95% of the time I am. Mm -hmm. But I notice... Every once in a while, I can get pulled in that other direction real fast. And you know what? What most people find is, is when our lives get a little out of balance mm -hmm. and we're not taking care of ourselves as mm -hmm. well, all, is, all it might take is an incident. It could take an interaction with someone. And this is what's interesting the research shows, too. And see if you haven't had this experience, that uh, negativity in individuals is contagious. Yes, it is. Negativity breeds negativity. Yes, and it's sort of like a virus. And they, there's a lot of research that shows when you interact with negative people, then it's very easy to take on that negativity. So when we look at creating a healthier life, cultivating happiness is one part of it. The other part of having um, a healthier, uh, well life is positive relationships and social connections. And um, there's a reason why. We want to be surrounded with people and causes that are positive promoting. Mm -hmm. And that is sometimes tough if you live with people who are not the most positive, mm -hmm. work with people who may not be the most positive, or live in a culture that's not real positive for whatever reason that might be. And so it is, it's challenging to maintain. Right. Especially if you're working, if, you're, if your work environment is negative. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that starts at the very top. It can start it at the very top. It starts at the top and it trickles on down and then you've got a cancer that's running through the yes. entire organization. Yes. And you know, something else that's interesting that may feed into that negativity is uh, are people matched to what they do? Uh, finding uh, work that utilizes your strengths, your talents, 
is a part of creating a job that you're going to like. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people are in professions and jobs where it's not a good fit. So it could be the person at the top, it could be the person in the middle. And so if we're not happy and using our talents and skills, then sometimes that can affect our attitudes. Right. But really our attitude we can control. We can control our attitude. We have, we have control over that. Sometimes yes. it is more challenging depending on what else is going on in one's life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, we do know that uh, being in something that where you're working or maybe if you're retired involved in a cause that you believe in and being part of something that's bigger than yourself. That's a, an important part of being a healthy, happy person. So it's not all just about me or all about you. It's about how we give to others mm -hmm. and um, that's part of promoting health because the reality is we're all connected. Oh, yes, we are. Well, many times people think, well, I'm just going to take yeah, care of me. No, and no, we no. can talk about cultivating happiness for ourselves, but the wonderful news is, is when we work on cultivating happiness for ourselves, then it's that yeah. trickle-down effect. Exactly. It's like throwing a stone into the into a pond. Yes. Or, uh, and, uh, and we definitely need this in our community, our country, our world, this planet. Don't we, though? Don't we, though? Um, and it can start as easily as a smile or a kind word to someone you don't even know. Yes. To someone you don't even know. Helping open the door or helping somebody across the street or just saying, God, you look nice today. And you know what? That's that's helping you too. You know, you're yeah. you're helping others. One of the things that's that's very interesting is we we go in and we measure um, the economic growth in countries. Yeah. And oh that's that's a great thing. But have we ever talked with people, are they happy? And there's lots of research and people can have more money and not always be happy. You do need enough money to take care of your basic needs. Right. But You don't um, have to be a millionaire or a billionaire to be happy. And a country that's doing well financially may not have the happiest people and there's research to show that. Okay. Oh, that's why I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I don't have a lot of money and I'm happy. <laughs> Well, we right, hopefully girl. have enough to, to well, yeah, eat our got, got enough, got enough. You know, God has been very good to me. Very good to me. I have what I need. If people want more information on this, they can contact, contact the University uh, Extension. Contact me, Vera Massey, at University of Missouri Extension, 573-445-9792. Okay, Vera, pleasure having you here. Yes. And keep that smile on your face. I will. Right? Monday, Voluntary Action Center. Our good friend Cindy Mustard is here in School of health profession. Our show directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute, Audiopad Acres, KBIA. Our floor director is Andrew Orozco and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And if you want to watch this program again, go to kbia.org, click on Radio Friends, sign up for a podcast or a podcast. And you can like us now on facebook.com slash rfwpp. And guess what? Twitter. Twitter. Paul Pepper, KBIA. <laughs> right, we'll see you Monday. Have yourself a, a nice weekend and go out and just be nice to somebody you don't even know and, and be nice to the people that you know also. Bye-bye.